August section on pragmatism, being logical, pragmatic. Don't go expecting perfection. That cucumber is bitter, so toss it out. There are thorns on the path, then keep away. Enough said. Why ponder the existence of nuisance? Such thinking would make you a laughing stock to the true student of nature. Just as let the car go by. Just as the carpenter or cobbler would laugh if you pointed out the sawdust and chips on the floors of their shops. Yet while those shopkeeper shopkeepers have dustbins for disposal, nature has no need of them. Marcus Aurelius Meditations. We want things to go perfectly, so we tell ourselves that we'll get started once the conditions are right, or once we have our bearings, when re really, it'd be better to focus on making do with how things actually are. Marcus reminded himself, don't await the perfection of Plato's Republic. He wasn't expecting the world to be exactly the way he wanted it to be, but Marcus knew instinctively, as the Catholic philosopher jo Joseph Piper would later write, that he alone can do good who knows that things are like and what their situ who knows what things are like and what their situation is today we won't let our honest understanding of the world stop us from trying to make the best of it nor will we let petty annoyances and minor obstacles get in the way of the important job we have to do so you know oftentimes we'd be like man i'm not ready or i want to get it set up like this before i do it therefore i could we want to wait for that perfect situation, but ain't no such thing as perfection. So the perfect time is always now. So go out there and do it. Don't wait for the right moment. Just hop in the field and get it done. Vibe high. The Daily Stoic. Start of August.